this video is going to be another part in our Lego series and this is a really very simple one that you would want to be doing with young children, maybe three or four years of age um, and it's really going to focus on those skills of number recognition and those counting skills. Now again depending on your child's ability you can either tell them the number or you can ask them to recognise the number and build it. It just depends on your child. So you decide um, what you feel is appropriate. So James, we're going to do a little bit of counting today, okay? okay. So first of all, can you point, if I point to the number, can you count for me? You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so as you can see, I've just got some basic magnetic numbers and I've put them onto this little board. And we're going to use Lego to make those numbers. Okay, James, now I want you to tell me the number if I just point to it, even though it's not in order. Okay, you ready? So again, you're pushing that a little bit further, thinking about that number recogni recognition that's not actually in series because sometimes it can be through rote that children count. Um, and we want them to actually be able to recognise that there is a symbol that goes with that actual number as well. Okay, so you ready, James? Yeah. Seven, two, nine, eight, four, ten. Right, you're going to go a bit faster now, okay? Do you right. think you can go faster? Yeah. Okay, right. Six, seven, three, ten, nine, one, four. Okay, this time I'm going to make it a little bit harder. So again, depending on your child's ability, turn it into a little challenge for them as well. So this time I'm going to make it a wee bit more challenging. This time I'm going to point to a number, right? Right. But you have to tell me the number that comes before it. So if I point on six, what are you going to tell me? Five. Good. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Ten, nine. Two. Good boy, I thought I was going to trick you there, but I didn't. So just making that idea, that concept of what numbers come before, what numbers come after, and have a little bit of fun with it. Okay, so now we've thought about all these numbers, you're going to do some building of Lego, okay? So you're going to make me some towers, all right? So here's your Lego. Can you make me a tower that's the same as this number? Right, put it beside the number. Okay, so how many bricks have you given me? One. Just one. Is that the same as one? Yeah. Okay, good. So making that correspondence, that one-to-one -one correspondence, that this actually means the same as one. Okay, right, next one. Two. Okay, good job. Good. Next one. How many is there? Three. Can you count them to show me? One, two, three. Good. So again, and encouraging that constant counting. Is this one going to be bigger or smaller, do you think? Smaller. Is it? The next one's going to be bigger or smaller? Bigger. Why is it going to be bigger? Because there's going to be four. Oh, is four bigger than three? Yeah. As you're going through, really do encourage your child to use all that mathematical language, that language of comparison and starting to think about bigger, smaller, more than, less than. Okay, good. Right. Look what's happening. What's happening? It's getting bigger and bigger. It is getting bigger and bigger, isn't it? Okay, right, next one. Do you think it's going to get even bigger? Yeah. Why? Because it's five. Five is bigger than four. Why is it? It's got oh, don't worry, there's some more in there. Just leave it there now. It's because it's, it, because it's one, two, two, three, four, five. Yes, it is. And do get your child to explain what they mean because the more children talk about maths, the more children use that mathematical language, the better one, their three, understanding three, becomes four, as they five. get older. Good, and I like to see, I was that was great checking there, James. Right, okay. This one. <coughs> How many have you got? Three. How many, four. How many more do you need now? Five. 
How many more do you need? One. One more. So again, also starting to get that idea of addition and how many more do you need? How many more have you have you got to collect? Okay, six. Okay, is it bigger than five? Yeah. Is seven going to be bigger again? Yeah. Okay. One. <coughs> two. Three. Four. How many more do you need? One. Seven. Does that mean six plus one equals seven, does it? Yeah. Oh, okay, right. Is it bigger again? Let's yeah. check, look. Yeah. How many more? One. Good. And actually showing them that comparison that actually six and seven, seven is one more than six. Okay, right, keep going. What's the next number? One. Two. How many more? One more? Yeah. Yes. Okay. How could you check it without counting? What could you do? Not counting, you're not allowed to count. How could you check it without counting? So again, starting to get that idea of double checking strategies that it's not always just about redoing it. Oh, clever clogs, you could do that. Okay, we'll double check and see if you're right. Put it with, what number are you gonna put it with? Is it one more? Yeah. Does that mean it's correct? Yeah. Good, well done. So giving them that opportunity to try out those double checking strategies, right? You've only two more to do. Can you do those two more? Yeah. One, two. Oh, don't worry, there's loads of more in there. Three. And encourage them to four. count as they go along so that they are um, making that one-to-one -one correspondence and actually that they are checking as they go. Okay, lovely. Last one. Do you think you could make the last one? Is this going to be the tallest? Yeah. Why? Why? Because it's ten and ten's bigger than nine, and one of actually it's bigger than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent, it is, isn't it? So just really keeping your child talking about maths, really giving them the opportunity to explain their thinking. And it's such a good habit to get into at such an early age because it makes a world of difference as they go to actually looking at a lot more problem solving strategies as they get older. Do you need some more? Eight, nine, ten. Okay, good boy, excellent. And I like to see the way you were double checking that there. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you to do one more thing with this. Yeah. So now you've got all your TARS, your child can very clearly see the progression and the numbers. They can see the TARS are getting bigger. Even if you want to line this up in a big row, it's, that's, that's another nice way of doing it. Um, James, now I'm gonna ask you to do something. Do you think you could do it? Yeah. How many more blocks? So how many more? does 10 have than six? How could you check how many more 10 is than six? Yeah. How much bigger is 10? One, two, three, four. It's four blocks bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, how about, how much bigger is 10 and two? Right. How many blocks more has 10 got? Right. Oh my goodness, do you want me to help you hold it? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> so 10 has got eight more than two. So again, another lovely way of just comparing those numbers mommy, and starting to get mommy, that idea. If yes. We, if you add it together, <gasps> would it be 10? What would it be then? If you add all the 10. No, no, we'll not add them all together because it'd be very big. What would it be now if you added the 10 and the two? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <gasps> does that mean that ten plus two makes twelve, does it? Yeah! It does. So again, your child will also take it in different directions. And you know what? It's absolutely fine to go with that. It's a really good way of actually exploring what they want to do. And, and it, this is just a really nice activity. It's really simple and it's really fun and it's definitely one that you can take in lots of different directions. Music